days that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Yeah. I know it. And you just be real about it. That's right. Look, look, Brother Addison. Brother Addison. You heard Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is like, well, I guess we might as well go on back here and die with him. Hey, I got I got an even better reason, look. He said, let him go. <laughs> Who you looking for? Jesus Lazarus. Well, let these people go. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus' statement is um, what? It's really kind of a, a, a very serious statement because basically what he's saying is, is that there is no resurrection <laughs> apart from me. Yeah, because he, he, is, it, right? he is the resurrection. Yeah, yeah. Uh, So the resurrection isn't a day. Right. It's, it's an event. But then it's again. A, no. It's I, a person. Resurrection is Christ. Person. It's a person. Yes, yeah. yeah, you're right. I like that. You, I like. Because it's not a event. It's, it's how often he wants to do it. In other words, he brings life. I am. That is, that is a very, uh, you know, I heard people say a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, very rarely do you hear people say things like, I am the truth. Yeah. And in this case, now he comes back and says, I am the resurrection. Yes. Yeah. Now, I know men that say, I know the truth. I heard men say, I heard the truth. I heard the men say, I know the truth when I hear it. But I ain't never heard a man say, I am the truth. Come yeah. on now. Come on. That's true. It makes even me, even Pilate right. asked him, who is truth? Or what is true? Yeah, what is true? Yeah. What well, his question should have been is, who is true? Who is true? Yeah, yeah. Oh, he said, Jesus said, for this purpose, I came into this world. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He should have said, who are you? <laughs> who are you? <laughs> Go ahead, and read that. So let's keep on see what what what. Let's let's make sure we get that squared away. Go ahead. Okay. 1138 Jesus therefore again groaning mm -hmm. in himself coming to the grave come out it was a cave and a stone lay upon it Je wow Jesus said take ye away the stone well see didn't nobody have to take away his stone uh 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 the angels took care of that for him Hey, you know what? You might, you, he might have took that stone, took, took that stone away. He's, he's a resurrection. Yeah. Right? The power of, of the resurrection, he is. But mm. he's telling them, just move the stone out of the way. But you're yeah. right. They said scripture said angels did it. I don't know what they said. Somebody moved it. It was a cave, and the stone lay upon it. Jesus said, "Take away, take ye away the stone." Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, said I not unto thee, that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God. Then they took away the stone from the place where he where the dead was laid. Now, now let's stop before you go there, though. You, for for your for your audience, brother Allison. My audience. I'm your audience. I'm your audience, and nobody else will look at it. I'm your audience. Uh, what? Why is Martha saying he's dead? He's he's been dead for four days. He's sick. What what is that telling you? Martha didn't hear a word Jesus said. That's what that's telling. Not a word, not a word she said because she said, "You remember you said that was powerful statement." She said, "What well, I know, whatever God asks you, He'll give it." Yeah. Now He's coming to the study. He He said, "You He's gonna rise again." He's told her. He gave a statement. Yeah. 
And then you mistaken. He he, he he said, move the stone away. What do you think is that means he must be getting ready to do something, right? Mm -hmm. And you already told me in the beginning, she did, that whatever you ask, I know even now, I know. Whatever he asks, whatever you ask of God, he'll give it. Okay. But what do you want? He said, he busted out really. See, you know what? You ever read that and think that that was, do you think he said that politely? Or, or quietly? No, I think he was speaking just as plain and everybody could hear him. Everybody. This, hear him. this was for the glory of God. Yes, this sir. whole scenario was exactly. a setup. So he probably wasn't just speaking to her when he said that. But he told her, did not, to me it's like this, bro, as we talking now. Did not I just told, did I not tell you? Did not tell you, girl. Come on now. I'm just telling you. Because then, because the next verse is, then they took away. Yeah, then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. Yes. And Jesus, this is important. Jesus yes. lifted up his eyes and said, Come on, brother. Father, yes. I thank thee that thou, thou hast heard me. Come on, brother. Past tense. Come on. Come on. I knew that thou hearest me always. Come on now. But because of the people which stand by, I said it. Yes. That they may believe that thou hast sent me. Yes. And when he thus had spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. Come on, brother. Come on. Come on. You know, <laughs> it's, it's, <clears throat> I like that part, like you said there, that verse 41. I thank thee that thou hears heard me. Right? Is that what he said? Yeah. I thank thee that thou has heard me. And I'm saying there's the power of prayer. This is what I'm trying, that's what prayer I start off with understanding. Sometimes when somebody said just pray, they need to understand prayer is powerful. And, and you know, brother, the Bible said, seek ye first the kingdom. And then all these other things shall be added. added. So in other words, if it's me walking to the store, me walking, me going to college and studying this at night and getting my grades squared away, is if it's me, you know, me moving, it's interesting when he said go preach the gospel that's what he said they went forth preaching everywhere and God was with working with them they had to do a part two in our actions the things we asked God to do you know that that's how I got out of that oh and brother I do want to say it for the audience too we did leave out a section where he wept. I, I accidentally cut that out. Huh? Just, so, go ahead. Um, Jesus ended up having to meet Martha and the rest of them there where their faith was. Yes. Because their 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 faith was in him praying to God. And God raised them up. And though he said what he said, they still did not understand. Mm -hmm. yes. But so that God be glorified. <laughs> he prayed aloud so that they could hear. Yes. And then raised the Yeah. 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 I like how they said to give God the glory. It's, it's a very, it's a very, it's a very delicate thing, man. It's, I think this is what we miss. I think this is what we miss a lot of stuff. 
we, I think we somehow when, when she says, I believe that thou the Christ of the Son of God, what is she really saying? Yeah, now, Bishop, if, if I just go literally, what she's saying is, <clears throat> I know you're the anointed one sent by God. I know that. And I think you were the person supposed to come. You and Brother Asin were talking about that Savior is going to be like David and, and restore the kingdom of Israel. I, I think that's how, I think that's the limitation she put on that. Well, I think he was, I don't think she would, I think she limit her understanding of what the Christ is. Well, in, in my mind, you got to remember these, these people, their, their relationship with God and, and our, our, our brothers and sisters, four brothers and sisters, those, those great host of witnesses that the Bible talking about. Those that and, and, and the law was their lifestyle. It wasn't a going to church and learning that. That was a part of their lifestyle. Yeah. So it was a part of their upbringing. It was like their their schooling, their ABCs yeah. and their basic math. That 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 history and that knowledge of the resurrection of, and of David and, and of uh, of the Messiah coming. That was just the norm because that was their culture. Yes. Was to know that. And so she had that basic culture understanding about it all. Yeah, yeah. And she kept going back to that every time Jesus spoke to her. He, he was giving her revelation, knowledge of who he was and what he was capable of and she only had information and tried to fit him in that box yeah she was limited that's what i'm saying because I, I agree with you if i show this real quick so make sure we have the same sheet of music is he was saying i put it back on that scripture you see brother asked what he's saying is he said 25 what he said 25. he said i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet shall he live so then this makes me ask the question did Lazarus believe obviously he did because though he was dead he lived Oh, yeah, I think he was in a prime place to believe, wherever he was at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just sorry. He, he he believed. Said, yeah. He had no choice, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah, he wasn't dealing with the doubt, but Martha was. That's what I think Bishop oh, yeah. was saying. Most, most definitely. And so <laughs> this, 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 in my mind, this was Jesus trying to expand Martha's knowledge knowledge and bring out those hidden mysteries yeah that was in those things that she learned yeah and she she just didn't have the revelation she yeah. didn't she didn't have it she didn't hear him and uh so in in my mind i'm thinking Did Jesus expect her to understand? No. Expect her to hear? No. I don't think so. I think that she, her heart was at a certain point where she was covered about, remember she, that Martha, Martha thing? I think she was always covered about many things, right? 
just like, just yeah, like she was she was she was covered by the law and in, in their custom yeah and that was her that was that was her mindset yeah but you know did you mary get, mary was 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 more so about the relationship yeah and she said still she didn't move yeah she, she, somebody told her to move right but 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 i said but bitch was asking that question if i look at that uh 27 again he said I don't know. I think Bishop asked about what he mean when he said, "Thou the Christ, the Son of God." But Bishop, I was also looking at this other part of that sentence, which says, "Which should come into the world." Is that a future tense, Brother Allison? That is. I don't think that 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 has a a time. You don't think it's future tense? Oh, you no. think you think that he? Because I think, I, in my mind, not when I read that, I'm thinking maybe she think that this is that time. Which okay, she said to him, "Yea, Lord, I believe that thou the Christ, the Son of God." Okay, okay, which should come into the world. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But she didn't believe he was a resurrection. No. He must be that David. Bishop, did did uh did Moses Moses said someone was coming and he was, was telling Jesus what what was Moses trying to say of the person that should come after him and what he's supposed to do? Was he talking about Elijah? No, he said that God will raise up a prophet like unto himself. Okay, like unto himself. Th that that's not the resurrection. Then. Well, you have to understand, you know, what Moses is trying to tell him, him telling people is I'm not the one. So when you go to Hebrews chapter two or three, I think. There's a contrast made between Moses and Jesus. Okay. And Moses is Jesus is portrayed as the as the as the son over her. Yeah. But what Moses is telling him, look, look, I, I'm really here just to kind of prepare you for the one that's gonna come okay i can't tell you everything about it but i'm going to know the thing that you expected of me yeah he really was gonna do it <laughs> you see so so that, jesus says in john 6 they said moses gave her bread from heaven jesus said moses gave you no bread from him <laughs> Uh, they said, what is this? <laughs> Moses gave y'all some, some, some bread that ate and died. Jesus Ooh. said, I'm free. That came down from heaven that if a man eat that raw, he shall never die. So he, was, so they had a limited expectation of who to come then, right? To me. Well, yeah, they, they, like I said, they, they, their stuff, it took, what, three years? For uh, um, oh my gosh, what? Uh, you lost your train? No, no. <laughs> uh, say you get out of. You ain't taking this word from me. <laughs> 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 wow. Wow. Well, look, well, look, God will bring it back to you. Thing. God will bring it back to you to go back to this is this is just you know, you know. reference the uh, you know. Moses statement. Oh. I, I think we lost Bishop, didn't we? You see?
Is that this one that got a title, Jesus Greater Than Moses? Okay. Hebrews 3, 1. Yeah. He said, Wherefore, holy brethren, as partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our profession, Christ Jesus. That's the anointing piece. Who was faithful to him that appointed him, as also Moses was faithful in all his house. But this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, and as much as he who had built the house has more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he that builds all things is God. And Moses barely was faithful in all his house as a servant for testimony of things which were to be spoken after. But Christ as a son of his own house, who house are we? Bishop, if we hold, hold fast to come confidence and the rejoicing of the hope firm unto him but oh, yeah. they, they, but but bishop they they're speaking that's them speaking after jesus resurrection right yeah what what was moses trying i guess i need to look that up for you real quick while you think did you come back you brother Addison? Yes, yes it did thank okay. thank uh thank the holy spirit for bringing it back i think it's a word to do that i think it's a words would do that for you <laughs> so what i was getting at is it took the Apostle Paul three years to bring up the revelation of those hidden mysteries in those Old Testament scriptures to get the revelation of Jesus Christ. Okay. So if it took a Pharisee of the Pharisee that long to come to the knowledge of Christ, then Martha had no change. Right, she had right. She's she's on with a just basic. Here's a here's the here's the, the clincher about Jesus. Nobody, nobody understood that the Old Testament was saying yeah. that God was going to become flesh yes. and become a man mm -hmm. and walk on this earth and you can talk to him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now they, they, they believe all kinds of stuff. They believe he's gonna be a prophet, they're gonna be gonna have all they believe all kinds of stuff about him. But but but, but that, and that's why they killed him. They said, look, look, you don't understand. It is forbidden that a man should say that he is God. Yeah, that was against the law. That that's blasphemy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Son of but God. is it blasphemy for God to say he God? <laughs> that's where they're misunderstanding. <laughs> Listen, to say that before Abraham was that he is I am? Yeah. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're only 50 years old. <laughs> Yeah, and they wanted to stone him on that one after, because he said it. And that's John. He, they wanted to stone him. Yeah, I'm thinking something else too. I ain't really sure that we get it. Well, I think no, that's, I think that's the whole point, really. Not without the Holy Spirit revealing it. Right. That's why I'm thinking when we're talking about the power of prayer and having faith in God is to understand when we pray. Prayer is the first first step. It don't mean he's being idle, but understand he's the one that's gonna bring it to pass. John he, says he never roll the play. All were created by him. Mm -hmm. and nothing was made that was not made. <laughs> you see, you never find God the Father doing anything divorced from him. Yeah. Right, right. 
or the Holy Spirit, for that matter. And, and that's why he said, if you believe on me, in John 14, he says, my father and I will make our abode, will take, will make our abode in you. Yeah. Okay. So wherever the wherever the, the reason that we have fellowship with the father is because we have we have been taken into the son. Yeah. Yes. There is this unbreakable oneness between the father and the son that cannot be you can't see it can't be divorced. And I don't think they got that. You down here as a prophet as a man, he's like, no, no, no. No man to buy him down here. You don't understand that we have this Yeah. Unbreakable oneness. Mm. You know, like we say, have faith in God. Now, are, are we separating the two? Wait, well, what, 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 what you mean? mean? You know, faith God. In God. He said, ask God in my name. See, that's why I say, it all depends on how you think about it. What you, you say there. Because I think in a lot of ways, we just like Martha. Yeah, yeah. I, I believe so because we know in part. Yeah, but he we, said we, we don't we don't we don't have. Well, Bishop is saying something though. I mean, because he's revealing something. The scripture is revealing something through this 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 incident, right? I mean, he's revealing something. We heard Martha being religious. Jesus being, I ain't being religious with y'all. Matter of fact, remember he said Lazarus was dead. I mean, Lazarus sleep. You ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. Lazarus is dead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't, I don't think Martha's being religious. I think Martha, Martha cannot trust what she doesn't know. Yeah. Okay. Her, her faith can only reach that which has been revealed to her. She, she doesn't know. She doesn't know. I, I, I don't think a whole, you know, like, like I said, unless the Spirit of God opens your eyes and reveals it to you, nobody will know. Yeah. Yeah. Obviously, <laughs> they killed him for it. They did. They got upset. You no, know, are you talking about? Go ahead. They tried to stone him over and over and over again. Again, thy sins are forgiven. Now, now, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. Right. yeah. What are you talking about? Your sin forgiven? You can't do that. Right. Right. Or heal somebody on the set. <laughs> or eat. Or eat without washing your hands. <laughs> Yeah, they, 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 they was trying to get it. By fact, but yeah. you know what? Go ahead. He kept revealing. He kept revealing the spirit of the law to them, and that, in the, in that truth, they could not have no law against. Right. Well, you right. see, the law could describe to you. The law could paint a picture for you of what the life that God wanted us to have looked like. Mm -hmm. But it couldn't, it, it couldn't give it he to does. you. Couldn't be done. God never intended for law to be communicated to you. He never intended for life to be communicated to you through law. Mm -hmm. Right. It, take, it takes a person to do that. 